Just because there is talk of a slime monster lurking beneath Manhattan does not mean... Oh, it does. Look, I know Eddie and Venom. They're not what you'd call unsore losers. And we did, you know, kind of bury them under an old bell tower. Has anyone seen the creature since? Long gone by the time S.H.I.E.L.D. showed up. They go to ground when you wound their pride. In this case, underground. Venom on the loose, licking his wounds. Now that's a friendly neighborhood problem. So, how about we go solve it? Do you have a question? <sighs> you gotta work on your social cues. Slime monster. Vampire. Ah, uh, vampires. Maybe it's the Downtown Express? Sounds like a lair. Sounds like. Side of vamp over easy. Not so easy for the vamp. Oh, gross, Eddie. It's hard to know who to root for in these parasite versus parasite situations. Parasite! A demonically possessed symbiote? With a vampire's bloodlust. Not good. Come on, Eddie, don't do this! They are definitely doing this. <laughs> should have known that thing would crawl back to the sewer. What Lilith had no use for it. We have no use for Lilith! We don't need her! Tell yourself whatever you have to. Uh, not to interrupt, but have you really been eating those vampires, Eddie? Beat them all! Too weak for this fight. This is 
is low even for you, Eddie. Moping in the sewers, scarfing down the undead? You're better than this. We are better! Better than Lilith! Better than you! I meant more on a personal or even spiritual level, you know? We know your blood will make us stronger than she He has not lost his way with words. being chased across the city, but this is really getting gross. Somehow the smell is even worse down here. Not eating Realize the trouble you are in, friend. I might actually be stuck.
Ah, yes. The elimination of one tormented soul for the good of many. Oh, but humans do love a moral dilemma. The umami of an otherwise flavorless existence. Mephisto. Gesundheit! Uh, nice mullet. Go to hell. There's nowhere I would rather be. But I've come on business. So let's make a deal. Is this one of those fiddle at the crossroads scenarios, or...? No deal. My terms are as follows. I spare venom. I cure the symbiote of Lilith's demonic touch. I end the blood fever he's given himself, gorging on curdled vampire bile. I wretch a little thinking of it. I said, no deal. All this, and I ask but one inconsequential thing in return. Stop the vampire uprising. The undead are bad for business. So you cure Eddie and we keep doing what we've been doing? Yes. Wipe them out. Remove every trace of their foul scourge from the earth. Then I will cure this pathetic creature forever. For the last time, no. Hold up. Give me the fine print. Nothing much. The usual. If you should fail, you'll discover something far more threatening than the undead, namely yours truly, etc., etc., immortal soul, yada yada. This is a bad idea. This or he dies? We don't have much of a choice. I'm in. Good. Just sign there and there. You may feel a little steep. follow you do have a vampire war to wage oh and peter i'll see you around how did he know my huh <laughs> all the surprises we've had so far that was one of the weirdest so uh that's a truce then right eddie we feel like ourselves. For ourselves. We will spare you. For now. Hey, that's progress. He didn't threaten to eat you. That is progress. Take a nap. Welcome assistance. Feel 
killing it! This one's for you! like before Lilith got in your head. moment too soon. Something like that. So, you okay, Eddie? Blood! <laughs> it's kidding, little joke. Uh, no, I, I come in peace. For once. Really? New kids gotta get in on this, too? Hey, by the way, you're killing it out there. Respect. Uh, thank you. Not my first vampire war. Eddie, are you yourself again? Well, you mean, are we ourselves? Yeah, Lilith. She made us a monster. We did awful things. You know that's not who we are, right? Of course. So I'm sitting here. Well, in there, thinking. <clears throat> I saw what you did for me. So, how about we put aside all our, uh, you know, personal stuff? Okay. No, not forever. Just, just until this whole messed up vampire situation is figured out. Till all the innocent people are safe. I mean, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Yeah. I don't know. Works for me. Shake on it. Oh. Huh. Wait a sec. Put her there, partner. I'm there, partner. Welcome to the Midnight Suns.
I have expertise in the extraordinary bo You guys really put the home in home base. This is an impressive setup. I hope the accommodations are better than what my mother provided. Uh, your mother gave me a lot of stuff, but most of it was grief. Uh, thanks again for what you did for me. As if my past wasn't complicated enough, your mother added a fresh pile of regrets. Eddie, you are here because a mutual friend believes in you. And you mean he believes I'm trouble. And he's not entirely wrong. I do not want you at each other's throats. Look, Parker and I have a complicated history, but it's water under the bridge. Oh, well, I guess we're still building that bridge. But we have bigger fish to fry. From the yeah, bridge. But enough about us. Can you trust me after everything that happened? I mean, I kept trying to eat you. You were a different person. I cannot blame you for my mother's control. Ah, oh, that's a relief. Thought it might be weird between us. Wanna hug it out? Sorry, I just made it awkward, didn't I? No more than Peter Parker does. So, now that we've cleared the air, I'm a little worried about the deal we made with the devil. That's the first time I've meant it literally. Mephisto is malevolent. Every interaction with him is playing with hellfire. Oh, I hate fire. Almost as much as I hate demons. No offense, but I hear there's a gym here, and I'm itching to check it out. I'm gonna do that, unless you need something else? I would like to get to know you better. Okay, hit me. I would like to know more about you. Really? Like what? What was your life like before you became Venom? I was a reporter, and I was pretty good at it. Well, I was okay. Somewhere between okay and pretty good. Had a few wins. Then one major gaffe blew up my whole career. What happened? <laughs> Uh, it's a long story. And not my favorite one to tell. Maybe I'll share the details someday. All you need to know is that it nearly ended my career. I still find the occasional reporting gig, but... Well, let's just say it's for news sites with stories about how the government buries alien bodies in the desert. Do they? Oh, yeah. Just not the kind of aliens these sites talk about. What drives you to fight for justice? Plenty of people will tell you I'm no hero. Some of them might be living in the Abbey. But I really do care about doing what's right. I guess you could say I had a tough childhood. Always wished I'd had a strong friend who could save me from the monsters in my life. So I became a monster. To save those too small to fight for themselves. Yeah, they might be afraid of me, but... I'll keep them safe. You seem ruthless for a hero. Is that a question? Half the Midnight Suns believe the greater good can sometimes outweigh a single life, but none of them... well... Eat their enemies? <laughs> you could put it that way. Eh, my brand of justice is an acquired taste. I would like to know more about your symbiote. Naturally. Go for it. How did you and the symbiote connect with one another? I got bitten by a radioactive pool of motor oil. What? <laughs> uh, nah, that would have been less traumatic. Truth is, Spider-Man brought the symbiote back from space. Space? <laughs> Be surprised what that kid gets up to. Anyway, Parker found the suit ill-fitting. His loss was my gain. Maybe I'll tell you the story someday. What are your capabilities on the battlefield? But without your mom's demonic protein powder, we can still bench press a bus if we need to. We also have limited shape-shifting abilities, our tendrils are handy when we need to grab something or web someone to a wall. Uh, oh, and we can also camouflage ourselves if needed. Don't tell Parker. But he traded down when he went back to those red and blue pajamas. 
I notice that you sometimes refer to yourself as we. Why is that? Because I'm a king in black. What does that mean? It doesn't matter. Truth is, Venom isn't a singular personality. It's a combination of myself and the symbiote. That's why we say we. It must be strange to have a conversation with the voice inside your head. Yeah, well, if you thought it was hard fighting vampires, try doing it when your costume is yelling in your ear. Eddie, can I talk to Venom now? Uh, that's not how it works. I'm not deranged. I just share a body with an alien symbiote. And okay, yeah, that does sound deranged. But it also happens to be true. You want to talk to Venom? You always are, Hunter. Actually, I have to run. I'm around if you need me. Maybe you can give them a lesson they won't forget. I can handle it. Here we go again! It must be tough losing all the time. For like... decades.
This one's for you. Hopefully they learned their lesson. But we all know that's wishful thinking. Got any chocolate? What are you doing? I think I'm getting the hang of this thing. Uh, what do three squiggly lines mean? It means you should step away before Sarah notices. Okay, so the squiggly lines just flashed red. Is that bad? Yes, actually. What is going on? Vampires? Attacking civilians in Central Park? Well, that means we're up, right? Innocents are in danger. We gotta take care of this right now. Eddie, I agree completely. Ah, first time I've heard that in years. Come on, let's do some lethal protection. Feels good to be free from Lewis. Earned this. You were too weak for this fight.
got you for this. Try not to swallow any, and you'll be fine. We're not always about eating, you know. Ha! Huh. Oh, you meant that? Mother abandoned. Well done out there. Especially you, Venom. We smell something nasty. Mephisto, what are you? That's better. Now, let's get a few things straight. Well, perhaps one may choose to save the odd civilian. Contractually, in the fight to end the vampire scourge, the spirit of the intended agreement... Uh, Come again. I did not waste my time curing you so you could save superfluous human lives. <laughs> Still boring. Do I have your attention now? We all know what you really are. A monster. The only version of you that remotely interests me, and the only reason I allowed this deal. Stop doing that! Oh, I'll stop. But you've earned an object lesson. Vampires are bad for business. Vampires keep souls from flowing to where they're most needed. And with less souls, there are more soulless. Do you understand the lesson? Because it's time for some target practice. <sighs> so many targets. I just see two of them. Let's see if you can do this properly. I'll give you one chance. We are not your toys. Just kill them all. It's really quite simple. like old times.
so much more efficient without those trifling morals getting in the way. be of great help. Once again, Lilith's servants fall. Return to your mother. for the rest of us. I see not much of faith among the world's fanatics. Told me to mention your mother, but 
Apparently, she's promiscuous. <laughs> endearing version of Caretaker. The mother of demons will be your undoing. Next time, run while you still can. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. Now, release us! You've earned some small measure of my respect, and I hope learned your lesson. The lesson is, we do not like being the target! Of course you don't. And that burning in your chest, that would be... Uh, indigestion. That would be regret. The most overused human seasoning. Seasoned humans are delicious. Would you? Enough! If you want this so much, stop posturing and tell us where to go. Find what you seek, where it all began. Now, eradicate the vampire threat, or join me in limbo forever. You do not dare! Right, off you go. I don't know why I bother. Checking in with Eddie. Whatever happened with Mephisto has him especially bummed. Why not talk to him yourself? 
Uh, because I want him to cheer up? Of course. I will speak with him. Thanks. Oh, and don't tell him I asked. Wouldn't want to spoil his mood any further. We all have skeletons in our closet. You know, Mephisto doesn't look that tough. And how much do you think he benches? You seem frustrated. If you need to vent, I could hold the punching bag while you hit it. Nah, I can't take everything out on Peter. That is not what I... Yeah, I know what you meant. Sorry, Hunter. Didn't mean to bite your head off. Honestly, I feel like I'm the one who's getting used as a punching bag right now. Mephisto is getting to you? Ha, <laughs> for starters. Yeah, don't forget about Lilith. And with these vampires, feels like everyone's forming a line. That is a lot. Your mother controlled me. She took away my free will. Now Mephisto has me under his thumb. I'm tired of being someone's puppet. Get a hold of yourself. I am not your enemy. I can't just shake off my emotions like, like water off a wet dog, Hunter. I understand your anger, but not why you directed at me. Uh, yeah, uh, you're right. You're not the problem. My symbiote is a great companion, but makes it hard for me to think straight when I get worked up. You know, I always thought of myself as the lethal protector. I can be the bad guy if it means protecting the innocent, but Mephisto has me all twisted up. It makes me think I can't even do that. Sounds like the only thing left to do is teach Mephisto not to mess with the Midnight Suns. Huh. All right. I can get on board with that. You know, I was, I was actually thinking about that already. You ever heard of the legendary Spear of Perseus? And, uh, not the fabled hero who beheaded Medusa, but the real-life Macedonian king. A book in the library says he possessed a god-forged spear that made him invincible. A son like that uh, might kill Mephisto. If Perseus was invincible, what happened to him? Oh, his territory was eventually conquered by the Romans. But I'm sure that's only because the spear had been stolen before then. You really believe a blade like this still exists? Well, yeah, it's indestructible. It's gotta be somewhere. Eddie, are you sure this is an actual workable solution to our Mephisto problem, or is it just the first quick fix you could find? Hey, I'm not looking for a shortcut here. I spent hours researching the spear. On the internet. But, okay, I see what you're getting at. I'm taking the screwball approach to things like I always do. But still, I have to do something. Give me some time to think. Show no mercy. 
We don't like running errands. like they just missed their mama. Too weak for this fight. Vampires are not the only ones who should fear you. Your mother abandoned you. We've done it. Excellent work. Hunter, 
got a big problem. Not sure how to fix it. Slow down, Peter. Tell me what happened. Okay, Eddie left me a note. Real ominous stuff. Said he knows where to find the ultimate answer. Look, I've seen Venom in dark places before, but this? I'm worried he and the symbiote have hit a breaking point. I will help you find him. That's just it. I looked everywhere. Unless he crawled into the forge, he's not in the Abbey. He's not in the Abbey. Exactly my point! He asked me to open a portal. So I did. Where did you send him? A church. Where Venom and I fought in the bell tower? Yes? Hunter, that's where Venom was born. We have to go, right now! All right, Peter. I will follow your lead. Ileana, Open could you... Open a portal. Ah, fine. But no more piecemeal trips. You must all return together. That's the hope. You're going to the church where Venom was born? What's going on, Ed? Got to thinking. Mephisto said I would find what I seek where it all began. Gotta be here, right? I guess this church is the place where I lose things, and you find them. Any luck? A whole lot of nothing. What's eating at you? I caused a mountain to hurt. In the name of some... freaky demon lady? Lilith. She controlled you, Eddie. She didn't do all this. I did. Look around. I'm never gonna clean this mess up. Never gonna make any of this right. You don't know that. Oh. You know me. I screw everything up. Maybe I deserve this curse. My Aunt May says the easiest way to let the darkness win is to do nothing. Yeah, well, I don't have an Aunt May. All I get is this. Whole lot of... Watching someone else get to be the good guy. Must be nice. You okay, Parker? I gotta say, something's setting my spidey sense off. Kinda jacked up to maximum overdrive here. It's all about boundaries, Parker. Gotta put that thing on mute sometimes. Maybe someday, but this is different. It feels like... Vampires. You got my back? I got yours. Brothers in fam slime. Let's do this. You were on to something after all, Venom. See, you both had the right instincts. <laughs> Realize you're that sentimental. In a shallow attempt at bonding, we have work to do. I can't believe my ear. Now he's the responsible one. All right, all right, I'm focusing. Just like old times.
Vampires here of all places. After you, Eddie. After us. <laughs> These catacombs are older than the church. Look, Hemalisks. We are looking. The home could be eating. This could be the source of the whole vampire infestation. Uh-oh, that's not a small entrance. Infestation? Infestation? Prince of Darkness? Wait, you mean... The Father of Death. So to be clear... The Impaler. Humanity itself is the infestation. You insect. Okay, first, arachnids aren't insects. Don't feel bad. It's a common misconception. Second, love the costume. Seriously, I dressed like you last Halloween. That is no costume. Crap. For a city teeming with heroes, I expected you much sooner. I still can't believe we're talking to Dracula. You didn't find me on your own. Who may I thank for this unwillingness? <laughs> ah, he is a special sort of cow. Never meeting his adversaries face to face. Why muddy his own hands? <laughs> hey, Mephisto or not, we can't let you turn New York into Transylvania. Then to the devil's implements, I say, your worst. Your blood will renew me. That's really the best.
Chew the inquisitive child. But what do they say? Curiosity plays the cat. We told you that wasn't us. It is ours. I am impressed. of this. Understood that social cue. My children, you think this stops my plans. Today, your only gain is an immortal enemy. Much better. Now, could someone give us a lift out of here? Another deal, then. No! No! Yes! No. Pity. So, aside from the soul hoarding thing, what is the devil's beef with Dracula? He broke his agreement. But I am pleased. We are not! You have made progress. I look forward to what comes next. Eddie can stay Eddie. For now. Not to worry. I'll see the rest of you very soon. Hard to believe you were once rivals. Today, I fought beside partners. I guess you're right. It felt good working with you, Eddie. For the first time in forever, I didn't think the symbiote was preparing to devour one of my organs. Yeah, we really sent Dracula packing, huh? And it's a relief to have Mephisto off my back. You're a free man. What's the plan now? 
Yeah. Free. Uh, Eddie? This is the part where you say, I'm gonna eat two pizzas and sleep for 11 hours. At least, that's what I'd do after a big battle. But knowing the old Parker luck, that's when I'd stumble into a battle with Doc Ock. Eddie, is everything all right? Yeah, 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 I'm fine. And I will be fine. Completely free of Lilith's control. It almost doesn't feel real. Do you want one of us to pinch you? Joking! Good to see Eddie is working through his demons. He's becoming a real hero. Eddie, what is wrong? We've been so busy. I haven't processed what I did under Lilith's control. Guess my sins are still catching up to me. What can I do to make things easier? That's just it. No one can. I've killed before. I can't pretend I'm above that, but... But I try to only take a life if it means I'm saving another. And Lilith threw all that out the window. You see your victims' faces when you sleep? The worst of the faces I don't remember. I get... flashes of memories, like corrupted videos on repeat. I see parts of what happened, but... the details are lost. What do you remember? Only bits and pieces. I remember standing inside a house. Dark. Not sure how I got there or what I'm doing. But the place is ransacked. In one corner is the... the body of a young woman. Her arms twisted at odd angles. Her face obscured by a shadow. In the background, uh, I hear a baby crying. Then what happens? Then... nothing. I've had that one on loop for days. You are repressing memories because you fear them. You should face that fear head on. I'm no stranger to doing bad things. But what could be so bad that the symbiote won't remember? Anyway, thanks for checking in. And don't worry too much about me. I'm gonna stick around and do what needs doing. I know you will. I may have lost a step, but I promise you this. Lilith will regret she ever got into our heads. Nah, no, I was busy cleaning Hemalus gunk from between my teeth. 